and here we are. We're off we go. <laughs> And then of course, for those who don't know, if we start off in Super Metroid, um, reason being is so that the player can switch their controls around. It's like both players both start off in Link to the Past. Um, fairly standard, there's a lot more to check here like, on those in Super Metroid. Ooh, an early Ooh. hammer in Link's house. Mm -hmm. Always nice. An early weapon like hammer is good. Um, they have a good chance to go. To, it, it seems like it'll be a good chance they will go into um, Haro Castle because of it. But we'll see what routing they'll. Oh, and I believe Andy actually got hit uh, by the bird when he was checking the Lake Highly item, um, which caused him to get a different tree pull than Ozzy did. He actually pulled bombs out of the tree instead of the full magic from the tier three pull. We'll see if Ossie can pull a, pull some bombs out of the next tree or not. Or if we'll have to buy some, or farm them. Hey, the uncle just gave the book. So, um, we have a uh, kind of early access to Desert Palace in a way, but still we'll need like some sort of um, fire source, or possibly boots as well. I'm actually surprised that they're actually taking the same route going through Hyrule Castle. Um, yeah. You think you think they'll they'll find some good items in here? Um, I don't know, and I I haven't seen a whole lot of uh, not a whole lot of items being actually used in Hyrule Castle. There's always there's been a couple scenes where like the fighting rod's been here, been for me, but I don't know. I generally try and avoid Hyrule Castle for a while, but. See what they get. Now, I, w I do want to make an important note about E tanks. Um, the players will want to pick up at least three. Um, that way, they can survive against Mother Brain um, in the final fight. So, if they don't, then there's going to be some searching for that. But I'm pretty sure they'll pick up more than three because there's a lot of item searching to go through. To see both players have a death warp here. Looks like Asi is setting that up. Oh, maybe not. Oh no. <laughs> you know, just the hammer. It's uh, I'm not super surprised that I'm not going into the uh, into the series here. Um, Me too, actually. That's certainly something they could do, but it's a lot easier with a sword when you have the uh, the sparkles from holding it out to see where you're going. Oh yeah, both our runners are very um, well-versed in the dark rooms. I see Andy not not going through... Um, what's it called? Lumberjack Cave? I think he said before that it's just not, not um, efficient enough to go there. What do you think? Uh, I always like to check it out, just to know, but um, I definitely get the reasoning behind not going early. Sword pickup as well, that's not too bad. Yeah. I think it's, uh, I think it's definitely worth checking Lumberjack um, once you do have the boots. Uh, because it's not like you can get the item uh, until you have the boots anyway, so...
So here's the part where most of our runners will, um, not most of our runners, but our runners <laughs> will get uh, most of the items, um, or majority of the items in, from the beginning of the game. So Kakariko is uh, one of the best locations to check early on. Yeah, early Kakariko is pretty loaded. I'm hoping for Varius. It's fun early morph ball. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Early morph will be good too. Ooh, I also want to make a note about um, web, uh, ammo, ammo. <clears throat> so, missile, super missile, and power bomb are a must. Um, well. At least you pick up some missile, but super missile is definitely, definitely something that you want to pick up. Um, either 15 or 60, just in case you don't have a charge, that is. But power bombs, you need 5 minimum. But if you can pick up more bombs, then that'll be good. So far, Kakariko not uh, been as much other than some money. Do you think it's a sign for a uh, Zoro check? Well, Ooh, charge me. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I uh, ever try and take signs from randomizers in general. Um, and I mean, Zoro is not even in logic without the the flipper Zoro glove anyway. Sure. So I don't think it's going to be... It's definitely something I could do, but without without either Moon Pearl to check the, uh, the Waterfall Cave or Lippers to check everything up there, I doubt we'll see uh, either player head up there anytime soon. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> careful, Andy. Yeah. Almost saving quit away from that hook shot on race game. So, see what Asi decides to do here. Some people uh, will opt to just go straight into the race game, and he will. Yeah. Um, I'm always a fan of going to check it first. Um, but it, uh, just gonna save Ossie some time here, just to go get it. Just uh, assume it's something good. So assuming, yeah. So Andy's gonna check the south area of um, of the map here. But um, what do you think will be the next big play here? Do you think the Eastern Palace will hold something that'll help progress? Yeah, I mean, I think after South Shore, it's got to be the the Eastern area. Um, there's also always, of course, the the option to go back to Super Metroid and check the uh, one thing in Logic and the one other thing you can actually get to out of Logic. But it's just such a low chance at this point that um, you can always just save that for last. Nasi actually opting to uh, avoid the dam. Yeah, straight from any Moldorm cave. I have a feeling he might come back though. Oh yeah, I'm sure. We got a power bomb there in any Moldorm cave, so hopefully he'll find um Asi, that is, um will find more ball to uh soon. Yeah, early power bombs are always really nice to find. Um, be really uh, <laughs> be a little worrisome when you uh, you find morph and a bunch of other ammo, but no no bombs to be seen. That uh, 
I mean, morph morph gets you some places, but without without bombs or power bombs, uh, there's still a lot of places in Super Metroid that are blocked off. I think Asu might be saving the dam for when he goes to uh, Bagina's cave at this point. Ooh, that's a, that is the um, very looked location early on. <laughs> mm -hmm. And looks like he's going to head over to Eastern next. Andy might be going down to Bob, and uh, possibly in the desert as well. This is our little route divergence here. Let's see what Aussie finds here. Ooh, the red game. Not something you really hope for early on, but it's, it's a good item to have. Um, just so that you don't have to have it later, I guess, but still. <laughs> you definitely want to be finding a morph ball soon. Yeah, it's not going to help progression now, but it's uh, it's always nice not to have to search for stuff like the cane or ice rod or, you know, any any major uh, progression items later on. Did you see that, by the way? Oh, it's on Desert Ledge. I did not. It's the glove. Ooh. What a play right here wow. by Andy. That's a really good call, um, going to desert first before um, Eastern, so... Yeah, with that early book. Mm -hmm. We'll get to find out uh, if this is in fact boots locked or not. And it is going to be boots locked. Oh yeah, not to count uh, Asia, but yeah, um, Eastern may have something a little better than Glove, but we'll, we're about to find out when when um, Asia goes through the. I mean, so with this Glove, back to escape is in play. Uh, Zora's in play. Uh, they could sequence break up that mountain as well. Uh, not in logic without the lamp, but again, both these players very well, well eh, very well versed in the dark rooms uh, in this game, and would not be any kind of issue for either of them. Do you like uh, sequence breaking to do, uh, uh, up that mountain? Oh, absolutely, especially with a hook shot and a hammer. Oh yeah, I, I almost forgot about that. There's uh, a lot of item to check up there. Mm hmm. I imagine he Andy will be doing a back of escape oh. and uh, heading straight up. Ooh, and Varia in the eastern big chest. So that is a really good find for Aussie though. Um Briar protects from heat, so he doesn't have to do any hell runs. But we'll see if We'll see if Andy takes the Eastern play as well. We'll see if Aussie takes the Desert play in a bit too. So um, anything can happen at the point, like we always say in these tournaments. <laughs> oh, and Lamp in the back of Escape. Okay, so now Death Mountain is definitely in Logic. Um, and with that key, you can actually go through the back of Sewers here too. Uh, check what this chest is. Uh, the thing is, I got. I'm, I'm feeling like Andy is probably going to uh, just head straight up Death Mountain after this. Um, Knowing it's knowing it's in logic now, and with the hook shot and hammer, there's just so much more there than there is in Eastern. Oh. By the way, um, Aussie just found flippers in Eastern. Oh, nice. Oh, just a single rupee. So, yeah, map so is a still good, still still good find though. This is really cool. Both routes are uh, are definitely paying out for both our players here.
Let's see where this takes them. Do you think, uh, because Andy's going up the um, Death Mountain, do you think he'll go de um, dip into Hera? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, if you're going to go all the way around to East Death Mountain and to the top of it, you might as well at least dip into Hera. Um, it could just be Fire Rod locked, or Fire Rod locked anyway. But I think if you're if you're in the area, then it's definitely a good idea. It's the race now, but see who will find Morph Ball first. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see if Zoro has it, or or, or if uh, Death Mountain is the uh, is the play. Oh, there's the bow! Oh my goodness! Oh wow! Uh, I see. Andy's making a short dip into Super Metro to check a couple of items here. Just a missile, but it's okay. At least he can check one more thing and hit his way back. So like Asi is gonna head towards uh, Desert Palace now, so he will eventually pick up his uh, his glove and probably the lamp in the back to escape. I do find it interesting that the game is making you double dip Eastern Palace. <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, kind of. It's not too bad because I feel like Eastern Palace, double dipping Eastern Palace isn't too bad. Um, only reason I say that because Eastern is a little shorter than uh, most dungeons. Mm -hmm. So, unless if, if you had to double dip Total Rock, then that sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Uh, I mean, I mean, with the with the required double dip, it could be uh, it could pose problems for Andy later on. Um, because you know it, it seems like he's already. If he finds more progression here, that leads him just farther and farther away from that bow. Um, you know, who knows when he's gonna actually go back to Eastern? Yeah, I mean, over towards going. Eastern. And that is some progression that will lead him away from Eastern for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is a moon yeah. pearl. And we definitely do have Dark World access. I can see Andy. Um... Oh, no, nah, never mind. Uh, yeah, but I can definitely. Yeah, that's what you said earlier. Moon pearl? Yeah. I'm gonna lead away from Eastern Palace for sure. is going to head over towards Hera. Red goo in a bottle. 
That is something to keep in mind. Uh, we do not have a bottle yet, so... Not locked out of Hera, so we'll most likely end up finishing this dungeon. You can see Aussie here making the way through the sewer. Uh... The secret passage, and probably gonna pick up his uh, lamp. So Andy just beat Molda, but he didn't find much in in uh, Hera, did he? No. Um. Hmm. Looks like he's gonna head back in and do the basement. So it seems likely that uh, Morph Ball could either be in Super Metroid in the vanilla location or in the the ceiling, or it could be in Dark Rolling to the Past. Um, mm -hmm. So many possibilities. <laughs> yeah, and that wind pearl just opens up so much of the dark world. One of my favorite but simple glitches right here that Sandy doing. Sandy in that little pillar thing. Getting all the uh, iframes. Setting up for a death warp here. Dang, nothing in Hera. The uh, ether tablet check for the uh, red goo in a bottle. Let's see if Ozzy wants to head into Harry here, or uh, just take his moon pearl and be on his way. Oh, don't you just oh. hate that? 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, looks like looks like he is doing the uh, power check as well. Mm-hmm. It's a tower of hero check. Interesting. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, like we can see Andy. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was, I was gonna say. I mean, with, without mirror, it's just you never know when you're gonna be back up here. So, not gonna fault uh, either of them for having independent hero. So we got Ice Palace, the green pendant, and Mire at the red pendant. So that's bad. Yeah, and I believe uh, Swamp and Skull Woods for the red crystals. Hype cave not living up to the hype. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Andy may make it make the play to Eastern though once he um um finish checking out the what's it called the to uh, the town of Outcast. Yeah. Yeah, I'm having a brain fart here. Uh, Village of Outcasts, but yeah. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, Ooh. Master Sword. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, to point out on Aussie's uh, routing, it seems like he's going all along the uh, um, a more logic routing for him to go to Eastern and then go go to um uh what's it called Zora right after getting those slippers it's a really good play. Also, gonna check that basement item in here. Big flippering is definitely also uh, an option for Andy now. Uh, with that moon, probably be able to get into the waterfall cave. Um, and he would at least know where the bow is at that point. And know that it is flippers locked. Do you think he'll do it, the uh, big flippering? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> if he would do, I mean, obviously there's there's probably more value going towards the eastern area before doing that. So, Screw attack. Oh. I actually skipped out on uh, Spiral Cave. There wasn't anything there, um, yeah. if I recall correctly. So, uh, 
not too not too bad. But he is making the play to uh dark uh dark world now. Mm-hmm. East, uh, East Dark World might be a uh, play he decides to make as well. Um, he'll be able to full clear Palace of Darkness at this point with the bow. Looks like that is where he's headed. We'll miss out on that Master Sword at, uh, at Stumpy. Um, but should be just fine uh, with, the, with the hammer and the fighter sword. Four hearts is a little uh, concerning at this point. Uh, especially going up against Helmosaur, but... And uh, Andy just found the mirror. Good find Ooh. over here. Yeah. Let's see how this um this blind fight goes. Had a little trouble at the end, but that was a pretty good fight. Pretty textbook for round one and two. Mm-hmm. Looks like just the mirror from Dave's sound. Not having that mirror is gonna, uh, gonna it's gonna make us his routing in here uh, a little bit slower than it could have been. Um, it's not gonna hurt him too much, but uh, I definitely, obviously, would love to have the mirror at this point uh, at Palace of Darkness, especially being able to full clear both Pod and Eastern. I'd like to have the opportunity to just mirror back to the Light World after finishing this, but. Ooh. Yeah, space jump. That unlocks at least one item in uh, Super Metroid. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that also means that we have access to uh, more of Norfair now. And by the way, uh, Aussie just found Wave Beam. Very useful beam to have. So both all these items these players are finding is just more and more expanding where this more fall can end up being.
Yeah, the uh, um, 35-ish minutes in and it's still no more for us. Pretty crazy. I mean, I, I know it's, it can go longer, but man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so in Oxy routing, I mean, going as Oxy going through, um, pod, not much has been found except wave, but there's still a couple more items to check. Oh, somebody found speed apparently. Oh, Oxy found speed. Okay, that's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I missed that. My bad. I missed it too. Oh, it looks like uh, um, Andy might make his way to... Oh no, he can't. He doesn't have flipper. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say he could make his way to um, the Zora area, but yeah, no flipper. I'm curious what his uh, next play is gonna be. He's gonna stay in like the past. Behind down the fake flipper. Well, that'd be a good play right there if he does it. <laughs> I, um, as somebody mentioned in chat that uh, Aussie will most likely do a dip, I mean, do a pod than Eastern Palace play. It's it's definitely likely that he'll do it for sure. I mean, he has the mirror. Oh no, he doesn't have the mirror. Oh wow. Oh yeah, okay. No. Wasn't these Okay, well then. Okay then, well, he's not going to be able to do that, but... <laughs> Would have been a really good play if he did. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if uh, Armos had an item or not, or if he found all three. It's like the Armos out of the map, as, okay. uh, according to our tracker. Yeah, okay, so if Armus is a map, then there's there's really no reason. And if you had the mirror, um, I mean, you'd go back now just because you could mirror right there and finish it off, but at this point, that's probably going to be one of the last dungeons that he finishes. And he's gonna be very surprised what he sees. <laughs> <laughs>
too, Andy. There you go. Uh, yep, there you go. Let's go into Eastern. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we got Aussie here. It's gonna probably go to the, uh, the Village of Outcast and uh, do some... Oh? Oh, right, he has to go around. Um, <laughs> I thought he had the other, the other glove. I'm, just, I'm bad at tracking, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, definitely gonna go to Thief, uh, Thief Town and see what he finds there. Yeah, definitely. Oh, he's gonna go check the pedestal first, too. Ooh. Oh, Andy. <laughs> Alright, I mean, he was gonna. Mm. I guess it'd probably make sense to go into pod first. Uh, there's uh, the there's just more in here, but... And knowing that you can't clear the dungeon, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It's just smart. But he still get the um, speed booster. Mm-hmm. Thinking about it, um, he might be because um, okay. For example, with Aussie here, since you're that speed booster, he could go back to not go back, but go into Super Metroid and uh, do a couple of checks without Morph Morpha. Yeah, he'll likely also finish Thieves down here um, before before heading out into any other uh, sections of the game too. Um, and picking up that mirror is going to open up, uh, I believe, all of Swamp Form as well. I do what these guys. I mean, I do like what these players are doing by uh, clearing out the um, Link to the Past dungeon before um, going to Super Metroid. Um, in my opinion, like doing that is a little bit faster than just going straight into Super Metroid, especially when you don't have Morpha as well. Absolutely, so. yeah. And even even with stuff like Beat Booster and uh, and Screw Attack. Uh, I mean, it, it's, it opens up a couple more things, but there's just so much more density in this game. Actually, with, uh, with Aussie's route here, he'll likely head south of Village of Outcasts after uh, after Thieves Town, and he will be able to check K45, which is something Andy uh, did not do, since he did the uh, the whole South Dark World area before heading up to Village of Outcasts in the first place. Very nice bomb jump, by the way. 
You're pausing. Man, there's so much things that uh, these runners could do, but like whoever finds more ball first is just start. That's when it, that's when things definitely will pick up because with the items that they have, yeah. I mean, speed yeah. boost to screw attack, man. Uh huh. Yeah, super Metro is gonna fly by. Having having speed starting off in Super Metro is just so good. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, what do you think? If uh, there's nothing at K45, what do you think the next play should be? Uh, it's gotta be Swamp. Hmm, makes sense, yeah. Yeah, it's you can't really call anybody ahead at this point. Um, they've they've been on separate routes for the last 20, 25 minutes or so, um, and they're essentially just uh, following in footsteps that the others are had, other has already uh, have taken at this point. Um, so once Andy finds his flippers and gets to the bow, and once Austin finishes Thieves Town and clears out Southern Dark World, um, a, little, a little bit clearer picture, but they're they're still pretty close. Um, Really can't call it for for anybody at this point. Yeah, for sure. I really think though. Um, it's, I mean, as I said earlier, it's just a race to get more ball. So absolutely, yeah. We're about to see. So Andy found a flipper. Do you think him? I'm wondering if he's gonna make the play to Zora right now. But He's I have a feeling he might go in the swamp. I think so. Yeah, I guess he knows his bow's there. Um, I don't remember if Helma had an item or a map or compass. Because he... Uh, I'm sure he cleared out all of Hellas Darkness and Eastern. He knows that... Um, uh, Armus Knights have nothing, and if the Helmosaur also has nothing, then there's really no reason for him to head back to Eastern and Pod yet uh, with that bow. Yeah. Nice blind fight by Aussie. This race is getting exciting right now, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see what's in K45, man. Again, with the with the space jump and various suit that opens up uh, Norfair into Bubble Mountain for us.
Someone imagine in um in chat, morph on sick kid will be evil. I mean, it's a possibility. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. And he did pick up Master Sword. Uh, all you have to do is just travel back to Death Mountain and <laughs> pick up the bottle there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the only location we know where the bottle is. <laughs> K45, just money. That's all. Could get a Bombo Stabla check from either player as well here, too. is going to check Bombos for us. Aww, dang. Well, at least he can hold more arrows. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh... Yeah, I, I, I can see Aussie making his way to uh, Swamp Palace. Mm -hmm. So it seems like Swamp is the play right now, but not too sure at the moment. Yeah, I mean, with with the items we have there, again, more the, the more Super Metro items we're picking up, the more and more it seems that Morph Pulse is going to be in there at this point. Um, there's. <laughs> There's actually a, a decent amount with with speed, screw attack, space jump, and varia. There's a there's a whole bunch of stuff we can get. Um, there's definitely still a lot locked by the morph ball, but Yeah, the front of Gauntlet should be in Logic, since they have speed and screw attack. Really just speed, but... Or no, no, they'd need screw attack, I guess. And space jump is just makes it a whole lot easier. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there it is. Okay. Morph ball way down in Swamp. Oh man, <laughs> 54 minutes in. There is a uh, morph ball. I can sense some relief in uh <laughs> in Andy. Finally, mm -hmm. and then probably Aussie's gonna feel the same. Oh yeah.
Hmm, quick. Oh, we didn't find out what the uh, what the medallion is for Todoraki, did we? No, we have no uh, dark access on East Death Mountain. Okay, so <laughs> one out of three chances right now. <laughs> Andy's heading back in probably for the uh, the big chest, I would assume. Uh, I believe he did do the, the left side of Swamp, but... Ooh. Nice plasma beam. Tie up uh, a loose end here or there before he heads into Super Metroid. Never know when you're going to be back down here. Where do you think Andy's going? Probably up to Catfish. Um, possibly Pyramid as well. Um, and then Mirroring from Catfish to get the bow. Mm, I see. I think this is where Aussie has the flight advantage, uh, as you already checked that area. Um, or th and this could even th things up too, like uh, in terms of like uh, distance between each other. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Asi is heading back up immediately to go check the uh, the big chest. Still get his plasma beam, uh, not to come uh, back in for it. Yeah, this staircase is weird. Yeah, uh, how do, you, do you know how to avoid that? <laughs> I know there's a way to do it, but I have no idea how. If anybody in chat would like to enlighten us, please, please say so. <laughs> I think, I think Bhutan told me at some point how to do it, but I completely forgot. Hold right. Uh, possibly? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> We're gonna have to test it out later, I guess. Let's see what Catfish has here. This could be, uh, this could be big for Andy. Um... The catfish is all that Aussie has left in this area, so it could be something he puts off for a long time. Players still on four hearts too. This has not been a, uh, a health friendly seed for Link of the Past. But just to compliment them, they've been playing very well um, against these bosses. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, just, I also want to compliment on their. Um, the execution for these bosses as well. Um, being able to survive the four hearts and uh, just making it through it like it was nothing, you know? So, <laughs> mm -hmm. very, very well done by these guys. There's the reset. 
mm-hmm. going to Super Metroid. Here we go. Yeah, so at this point, um, you know, unless Aussie decides to go up to Catfish, uh, it looks like he might have a slight, slight lead on Andy, having already finished Palace of Darkness. Um, Andy will have to go back and kill him at some point. He's trying to. He, he's not sure. <laughs> Where are you? It's like he's gonna head going? straight to Metroid, though. He's thinking about it. This is the, the part where I love about this uh, common randomizer. Um, not just about the routing, but it's just now it, you can see the execution between the, uh, the two runners and how they play the game. Mm -hmm. And again, having speed for for all of this is just so helpful. Oh, and that is going to be real nice. Um, <laughs> X-ray plasma charge means that they're going to be able to uh, microwave uh, Fantoon, Dragon, and uh, Botswin in this well to make those fights very fast. Ooh, Nazi's setting up for the. Uh, he's getting the uh, the the, wave, the wraparound the shot. Yeah, I think he got it through that from yeah, the bottom. That's, that's the first time I've seen that. Yeah, I, I've never seen that from the bottom like that. You know, Aussie, I have to compliment on Aussie. Like, he's full of surprises in terms of, like, um, glitches. I, like, watching him throughout this tournament, like, seeing, seeing him pull off glitches that I've never seen before, pretty crazy. Microwave mean? Um, so, when you use the X-ray beam, it resets the iframes of, uh, of enemies. And on bosses where the game didn't expect you to ever have plasma, um, if you have plasma, the beam just goes right through them, um, and it doesn't stop and disappear like it would do when you shoot Ridley or Mother Brain. Um, so when the when the plasma beam is in there, hit the box the charge plasma, and you use the X-ray scope, uh, it resets their iframes. And every time you reset the iframes, it just does that full amount of damage over and over and over. Yeah, you guys should be able to see it happen on uh, as what Ivan said earlier, Fantoon, Dragon, and Bachun. Well, yeah. we're not Possible sure about Bachun because, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, definitely Dragon and Fantoon. Yeah, it just depends on how the seed plays out. With the with the warps that are set up between the games, it's it's possible to never have to fight Bachun. So. Ooh, magic cape. I think it's something useful later, uh, maybe, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't believe, um... I don't think anything was on Bumper Ledge, but uh, that does open up Fight Cave once they... Probably once they get a little more health at this point, um, without half magic, I believe. I know, I know Kate does stream your magic a little faster than the uh, Blue Cane does. So I don't think Four Hearts and the Cape are enough to do Spike Cave, but... Ooh, and I oh, nice moonfall from Asi. Um, I just want to take a time, take this time to note on their ammo count. Um, as you can see. It's likely that they have like 60 missiles, uh, 25 supers, and seems 15 power bombs. That these numbers are really, really good. Um, what they have, so it's uh, it is um, very unlikely that the players will pick up any more ammo. Um, intentionally, that is. Yeah, uh, a super pack here and there wouldn't be too too bad to pick up. Um, even on the power bomb pack, without uh, without morph bombs. Um. But they're not going to be worried about having to pick up ammo for actual boss fights. Um, it'd be more for convenience than than anything else.
Volcano Burner. Not too bad. Yeah, and this is one of the reasons I love having speed so early. This waterway is just, uh, it's just a pain to have to come back to later on. It's always nice to be able to clear out uh, all of Brinstar in one swoop. Speaking of like clearing things out with speed, um, would you say your what would you do about uh, correction? Do you like clearing out the whole thing first, or would you like? I'm assuming you don't like going back there. <laughs> I mean, it always sucks uh, to have to go back to our ship, um, <laughs> especially going there without speed, which which tends to happen more often than not, um, especially if you're deciding to go there early on. Um, I, I don't. I'm not sure if I've ever experienced the seed where I've had to go back for the item uh, at the at the retro retro preserve. Um, but I imagine that that would suck. Andy having a little trouble with the swift gate. Getting that getting that shot more front of the gate um, all at once can be a little tricky. Here we'll see a, a slight difference. Um, Andy actually skipped that hard container that was at the charge room location. Um, most likely because he did find the blue mail in uh, Graveyard Ledge, I believe. Um, but Asi hasn't checked up there yet, so he uh, is going to pick that up. Oh, these guys didn't check any of uh, Virtual Brin, did they? No, yeah, no, other than Terminator, this is all new. Yeah, this is a pretty good value. I, I assume that um, after this check here and in, in the uh, Billy Maze room, um, Andy will go up the climb and probably do the, um, the climb super. I would imagine so, yeah. Oh my gosh, sorry, I just thought Aussie did a clip through the... Um, <laughs> through that one. <laughs> See what I mean by... Uh, the surprise that he does. Uh, yeah, no, he's. Yeah, he, I think I saw him do that in uh, in the second game as well. Ooh, oh my god, <laughs> man, that's something that could have had it early on. That's flute in the ceiling there. Yeah, that would have been that would have been really nice if either of them had come down here early. But uh, man. Yes, that with the flute and titanness now. Um, I mean, pretty much all the dark world is open to us, uh, pending the uh, the medallion requirements for Meyer and Total Rock. Yeah. So, um, and then we need um, Ice Rod and Fire Rod as well. Mm hmm.
And I think after this is actually all of the blueprint star and pink print star to check. Oh, a criteria as well. Oh, wait, I had an outside of a ship yet. But uh, other than that, like this is the most of the items they can find right now. And then uh, we'll see if they're gonna go to the wreck ship and uh, work, right? Yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, if they decide to have a, uh, or if we get a red divergence again. Um, yeah, because wreck ship is definitely full clearable and uh, you could head down to Great and into, uh, into uh, Upper Norfolk as well. That very suit. So Candy's gonna stop the ship to get some uh, health and ammo refill. See where he's at. Yeah, I, I I would be surprised if he picked up any more ammo at this point willingly. So we'll see if he decides to head down Red Tower or head over to the wreck ship. He's at least gonna check the mode item, but. Looks like he is. Yeah. Oh, uh, wreck ship, it is. That is. <laughs> <laughs> See if Asi wants to uh, head down to Grade Forest, maybe. And he's uh, trying to get a peek at what's up in the uh, in the corner there. Um, without high jump, I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, I used to do that too, but it just takes a while um, with space jump and no high jump. They even get up there. Uh, to the point where it'd probably be faster to just uh, use the super to get down there uh, later on and just not pick it up once you see it. Oh, Posse going Heading back to back the, the, path. the past with his mitts, yeah. His mitts and flute. All right, so, uh, well, we got some divergence. He, he may just end up going to Death Mountain here and going to uh, Norfair, but it looks like he's going to activate his flute. Not a bad play. I mean, it is um, that, uh, that help him travel faster throughout the game, uh, throughout making the pass, especially. Absolutely, yeah. And I mean, it's not like it's not like he picked up small progression here. Um, the flute and mitts just opens up so much for him right now. So definitely not a bad play. All right. Looks like we're gonna get a sample of the. Uh, microwave for those of you, those of you who don't know what it is. Yeah. So, uh, so every time that he uh, he reactivates X-ray, there it's doing the full charge beam damage to Fantoon. Um, and I believe with Charge Plasma Wave, uh, actually not sure, it might do 600? It might do 600 damage? I'm not sure of the damage values. Um, with Ice it'd be doing 900, 900 per, per reset. Um, but yeah, Fantine's only got like 2500 health, so it only takes a couple of resets from the X-Ray Scope to uh, take him out. He's gonna check the um, turtle rock first. 
And he's got a hookshot cave open as well. I mean, at this point, um, oh my oh. lord. <laughs> Gravity suit and hookshot cave. All right. That's that's pretty big. Um, wow. I was gonna yeah, say if. Uh, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say that means just uh, Super Metroid is pretty much full clearable. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think yeah he, he can definitely beat Super Metroid right now. And uh, I just totally just missed the medallion, but it looks like it's Bombos for Turtle Rock. So uh, I also uh, missed it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you to our tracker, by the way. Death by Snoo. Oh! oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be uh he may he may he may look for a uh a fairy here. Oh wow, first bush too. <laughs> the luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so those the four cardinal direction bushes um have a chance to drop uh hearts and fairies I know in the vanilla game. I'm not sure if randomizer changes those drops at all. Um Oh yeah, that was that was a that was a lucky fairy you got there. Silver arrows. Yeah, we'll be picking up silvers in the wrecked ship. So that will make his uh, his Armos and uh, Helmos for fights a little faster later on. Looks like we're gonna get a peek into Meyer's shed. And Meyer is quake. quake, yeah. And with gravity, um, Aussie does know that you know Lower North Ferry is in logic. Um, not that it wouldn't have been anywhere, um, I guess, just because he did find the mids in the flute. Um, and already has various suit, but it would be in logic to actually go into Lower North Fair the, the vanilla way at this point, too. So I wouldn't be surprised if he decides to do Lower North Fair here. That would be a very interesting play, going through Lower North Fair before even fighting, um, Create Fantoon, Create our Fantoon. It's like we are gonna head into Lower Norfair. Ooh, bottle there, so no need to worry about the one on uh, your tablet. Looks like Gold Teresa has got nothing for us. Last chance for Rex ship to really pay out here. And it looks like silvers are the only thing of value in the Rex ship for us. Um, so if Aussie decides to skip the uh, you know the last three quarters of Rex ship after Fantoon, um, it's going to be a big time advantage for him. Uh, yeah, my career is really weird on GT. Uh, I don't. I don't exactly know how it it like it does damage, but it doesn't do damage like it does on the other bosses. It's really strange. Oh, there's Ice Beam. Oh wow, yeah, that's the yeah. That's the good combo. Ooh, uh. yeah, a little mistake there, falling through the uh, the crumble blocks, but. With a full beam combo, uh, you know, speed boost to screw attack is not be an issue to get through this room. It's just a little time loss having to go back through the, uh, the pillar room again. 
Ooh, man. <laughs> the player not having good luck at the moment. <laughs> So we're hitting the uh, 1 hour 20 minute mark. So um, just want to give a heads up to those of you who just entered the chat. Um, this is the Super Metro Link to the Past Combo Randomizer Grand Finals. Uh, Aussie 101 versus Andy. Um, as you can see on the tracker, they have a lot of items and uh, what they need right now is um, Fire Rod, Ice Rod, and Bombos. But uh, they also do, still need to complete some dungeons too, so um, stick around and enjoy. <laughs> oh yeah, and boots, sorry. I forgot that the desert is a boost lock. So with uh, for Aussie, since he had the uh, full beam combo, he shouldn't have uh, too much trouble against Ridley. And he also has uh, 30, 31 supers, so could use the combination of them if he wanted to. Yeah, um, supers are just more DPS, period. Um, I would imagine he would want to save a couple uh, if he plans to head to uh, you know the rest of North after this and maybe even into Meridia. Um, Could always just farm for more of those as well. Andy, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> I thought he was going to pull off the uh, <laughs> trade. That is, uh... going to have to ask him about that later. <laughs> okay. Uh, but... <laughs> I, I thought he would do. I was like, oh, are you gonna do the Nami trade or something? But I guess not. <laughs> Well, this will be interesting. So, uh, <laughs> this uh, this little spring ball maze here—I don't know if it's really a spring ball maze, but it's a—it's a maze that 
you're supposed to use the X-ray scope for to see where you're going. Um, so I wonder if Hossie actually knows what this looks like without uh, having Spring Ball and just holding jump the entire way through. I would assume he does. Yeah, all you gotta really do is just jump and morph and hold it right every time. I can see um, Andy doing a couple more checks in North Air and then going straight to uh, Death Mountain since he oh, uh, yeah. had the item. Mm -hmm. So all Aussie is looking for at this point are both rods on the boots uh, to be in go mode for the seed. Ooh, high jump boots. Now they can um high jump boots is um very very well it's the least appreciated item, but once you have it you you just love it. Absolutely. One, yeah. you can perform the um, the Metroid skip. So there's that, and it makes traversing up even quicker. Yeah, that'll definitely uh, save Andy a little more time than it uh, the Nazi took in uh, Lower North Air for sure. So really, at this point, the main the main uh, thing causing uh, any kind of a time difference between, between these two is that Andy decided to go to the wreck ship and full cleared it, um, and only found the silver arrows. So it'll be interesting to see if Ossie decides to go there at some point. Um, well, he will go there at some point, but whether or not he decides to head further in after killing Pantoon. Yes, Ice was in the Mickey Mouse room. I was actually, I was about to say, what is Aussie doing? But he's probably gonna check the um, cathedral at the at the point. Yeah. He may actually head back through here too. Yeah, since he hasn't done any of the uh, of the business center yet. Not surprised to see him heading back this way. And then probably, if he does want to head down to Krakenmire, he'll probably just go through um, the Ice Beam area to get there. I like this route a lot, actually. It'll be nice for him to uh, to find high jump early here too if he does do that. Andy is gonna pick up a bottle here. Okay, Aussie. 
have him make his way to Ice, uh, Ice Beam and then we'll see if he goes to Quagmire. See if Andy follows suit here and heads straight to uh, the Mire area. Oh, he's gonna unlock his food first, right? Yeah. Looks like, yeah, he is gonna head to Krakmire. Another good moonfall, too. Oh, here's another uh, use of Plasma Beam, too. Um, yeah, microwave Krakmire, but since his hitbox doesn't really reset when his mouth is open, um, <laughs> Plasma Beam just does enough damage to send him back the whole time. Um, and he never does anything, he just backs up until he falls in the lava. Ooh! And the Ice Rod at Krakomire, wow. Betting on a croc paint out the seed. I like it when uh, when the race becomes like this, where somebody finds something first and then yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just like, oh, when will this other person, when, when will so and so go, and then they'll get they'll have to go there later, and then I don't, it's you can see you can just see like the um comparison between each other. I don't know, I don't know. it's it's just so exciting. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll see if uh, we'll see if Andy wants to go and do uh the mire here too. Like, no, he does not. Not surprised. Just uh, two items in Meyer and it is a pendant, so. Oh. Huh. Oh, he just noped on out of there. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Um, with the with the beam combo he has, it would not take too long just to kill GT. Um, so we'll see if if his plan is to just head straight back into Link to the Past and then head into Lower North Air again. If it is, oh, I guess he might have wanted to just get some ammo as well. Um, but if that is his plan, then uh, barring barring coming back for ammo, it definitely would have been faster to just kill Gold Teresa at that point. Want the extra power bombs, most likely. All right, so I think Aussie's gonna start making his way to kill the uh, Super Metroid bosses. Uh yeah, I'll probably head over to Crate and then head into Meridia shortly after. Um, but we do know now that Norfair is completely cleared out. Men holds Bombos and Ice Rod for us. 
So all we need are the um, the boosts and the fire rod. Mm-hmm. Taking fire rod in green pendant ice palace. Ooh. <laughs> Or, what about, um, Shalarshala? Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah. No, you can't like wave Creed. Creed, uh, once enough damage is done to him, um, he, he stops taking damage, I guess. And, uh, decides to stand up. The only reason... Oh, the quick kill, I, I'm not sure why it works, but it, it basically stuns him with his mouth open, so you can fire more in. There's also uh, a thing called Zombie Crate, where, um, that, where the Plasma Beam is used to do that, but um, I haven't seen that effect. But I think what it does is just, like, um, Crate just stands there, but he's already dead, but he's just there. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that. I like how Aussie is going into uh, video right now. Mm -hmm. Nice spark in Main Street there. Uh, that's a pretty light quick charge. For sure, right? <laughs> and it looks like a, uh, a mail upgrade. Oop! <laughs> Moon fell a little too far there. Uh, but a mail upgrade at the uh, Grab Super, so would not, be surprised. would not be surprised to see him pick that up um, as he is still in green mail. His, and he's got his first sword in the wall at uh, Mum Turtle. The other mail upgrade was in the graveyard ledge. And that the one Aussie picked up at Crab Supers just now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Damn, these moonfalls are sick. I've never seen that one. That was really cool. Yeah, yeah like I said, Aussie, <laughs> Aussie surprised me with all the tech and stuff. Mm-hmm. Andy's going to be clearing up the rest of North here. here. Um, for his sake, uh, we're going to be hoping he had to start Scrockmire. Um, but we'll have to see. Looks like nothing in the left pit. Ooh, boots in the right pit. I'm super slow. Likely come back after uh, Dragon to pick up those boots. But at this point, we're just looking for that fire rod. Probably, it's probably faster to come back to the boots after Dragon. Absolutely, yeah. He wants um, want to get out of there to play. Yeah, and after Dragon, you can head down there and then head up the toilet to get the plasma if he wants to check that as well. See some more microwave there, use there. The microwave, yeah. <laughs> See it again at Dragon pretty soon as well. Did you see that? Andy intentionally used X-ray. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he is going to head down to Krokemeyer, um, find that ice beam. That is good news for him. Mm -hmm. Gotta think after after Meridia. Let's see if Ossie decides if he wants to go to Wreck Ship or back to Link the Past, because um, he will have access to Finished Desert Palace now. Um, he could go into Turtle Rock and uh, clear most of it, other than the uh, well, assuming that there's there's a key in the uh, in both the Chain Chomp Room and the uh, the first chest on the left. But there are a couple things you can do in the past, um, and really there's only wrecked ship left for him after this, and, uh, and red tower. So, see where he decides to head off to. Yeah. <laughs> 
So with all the checks that uh, our player did, I feel like Fire Rod... Hmm. I mean, it's a, it's it's a there's a low chance in Super Metroid at this point. Um, I think all we don't know is Plasma Beam, Shack Tool, uh, and that may be it. Yeah, I think it. Is. I think that's it. Um, so it's very likely that Fire Rod somewhere in like the past. It could be in Ice Palace, couldn't it? It could be, yeah. Uh... Or even in Disney Mario 2. Wow. Or it could be in uh, Total Rock. So many, so many possibilities. I almost, uh, almost forgot. <laughs> it's interesting. Um, Aussie is opting to not check Plasma. I think he's heading towards Wreck Ship. Actually, he's probably gonna head up here uh, to the top of this room to the top of the big room and head up to Red Tower. So likely we'll be picking up those silver arrows. At this point between the two, I think they're very close. His temper sword here as well. And he is going to head over to the wrecked ship. Um, I don't, I don't believe Aussie is a, a huge fan of doing much more past Pantoon. Um, so we'll see, we'll see if he decides to dip out after killing the boss. Well, he doesn't know where Fire Rod is, so I feel like he might. Yeah. Once again, just like the uh, when Aussie was in Thieves Town and Andy was clearing out Pod and Eastern, um, they're basically just they they diverged for a while um, and they're <laughs> back to retracing footsteps at this point. Fancy not playing nice. <laughs>
and uh, unfortunately let go of Lex for a little too long there, and the the charge beam got out of his hitbox, so uh, gonna have to do it in two rounds here. Oh man. <laughs> oh yeah, again. Alright, got a got a fast pattern in the third round though, so not a huge deal. And he does have the info on those boots now as well. After wreck ship for Aussie. Um, I believe the only thing that Andy's done that isn't wreck ship that Aussie has not done is X ray and possibly Spacer. I think you're right. I don't believe. Um... Oh, Aussie checks Spacer. Okay, so then just X ray. Yeah, I, I think Andy checked almost all the location in Super Metroid. Then he's about to check uh, a few more in Meridia, maybe. Mhm. Mm yeah, we'll see if he uh, we'll see if he goes for plasma oh, here. Nice wow. little happy. Somebody's been training, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Asi is going to head up, um, so we'll, we'll most likely pick up those silver arrows and uh, clear out the rest of the ship here. Just off the one around there. This is just me, and I have this feeling that it's all going to come down to um, execution between the two. Most likely, yeah. Uh, this is this is the more the more they get towards the end of um, their respective areas here, the the closer this is seeming. <laughs> so. Again, Andy will have to go back into Palace of Darkness to uh, clear out Helmosaur, which Hasi has already done. Um, but yeah, this is this is still really close. We'll see if Andy decides to check Plasma here before he leaves Meridia as well. At least what Andy can do is um, 
after he checks plasma, he can go straight to back into Link to the Past through that portal. Um, underneath, well, like kind of underneath the Colosseum, and I guess he's not going. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, they're both just gonna skip plasma for now. It's not a terrible idea. It is, uh, it's kind of out of the way. It's just one check, so. Yeah, and again, they're, <laughs> they're exiting both these areas at basically the same time. Um, and you'll be first back into Link to the Past by, uh, by a couple seconds here, but Asi is not going to be far behind. Oh boy. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Where is the fire rod? In Desert Palace, they didn't check all the items yet, right? They only found one thing in it. Um, like I they believe they like only they found the map. There should still be two items in Desert. It looks like Asi might just finish up Super Metroid right now, actually. This is actually not a bad play because he doesn't need anything in Super Metroid. Yeah. Um, basically just banking on the fact that I or Fire Rod's going to be in Link to the Past and now I have to transition again. Definitely not a bad play. Oh! Wow! Fire Rod super is. early on and in Bone Crocs. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> That All is right, go mode. Like a, yep, go mode it is. All right, so uh, we'll see uh, <laughs> see how fast Ossie heads over to Bonkrox once he gets into the link to the past again. Uh, this is going to be uh, very too close to call for quite a while here, probably. Yeah, I mean. Aussie did complete pod before Andy did, so mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Aussie gets his Metroid skip here. Looking good. I want to clear out that last block. Oh! oh! Yeah, that last yeah. block. You gotta clear out all that top corner. Is gonna remove Varia um, and Screw Attack at the same time there. Um, probably gonna be doing the uh, Ice Clip through the Zebatite instead of the Speed Clip. Um, since he wanted to turn on Varia for the the quicker health drain on the Metroid and uh, easier stand up glitch anyway, um, might as well just turn on the Screw Attack there as well. Kind of a uh, side note yet, and on. Uh, unrelevant to this race, but uh, have you seen the, uh, the space spring ball escape oh, or skip? I have not. Oh, oh boy, it's pretty, pretty nuts. Uh, <laughs> check it out when you can. Quick fight for Andy for I'll get the lemo. Nice sub skip there. Um, stand up glitch stops you from being stuck on the ground when the uh, when the baby Metroid comes to save Samus. 
and lets you damage Mother Brain during Phase 4. Um, and you can actually kill her before Phase 4 even starts. In other words, uh, it's it's a really good time save to perform. I mean, if you don't pull it off, you don't pull it off. But if you do it, then you can save uh, probably like a good amount of time, or maybe like 10, 20 seconds mm -hmm. at most. Man, I really hope that Ossie finds his fire out early on uh, when he goes back to Link to the Past. I've never, I haven't seen a race where they're finishing their second game in different games um, and have it be this close. So that could be really interesting. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, so he's gonna damage himself just under or just to just above 700 health here. Um, Mother Brain's gonna do 60 tanks of damage with this rainbow beam, and then he's gonna be able to stand up here and re-damage himself before she starts firing another rainbow beam. Um, and that's gonna let him jump around here while the uh, while the Metroid comes to save Samus, and is not going to lock him onto the floor here in a crouch position. Fire Rod was in Bonk Rock. Yeah, so once Mother Brain fully changes color here, um, you can actually start doing damage to phase four. Uh, you do want to watch out for, uh, there is one point where the game tries to put you into a crouch position and if you're on the floor, it will stick you to the ground. Uh, with X-Ray, you can actually get out of it just by using the X-Ray scope. Um, yeah, but if, if you don't have X-Ray, um, it's essentially a soft lock because Mother Brain won't be able to uh, hit the Metroid when she stands up. Well, um, if, you're, if you're near Mother Brain during that time of your crouching, then she'll knock you out of uh, crouching and she, you can stand back up again. But that's oh. kind of a, a time waste, yeah. Mm. But make sure, as long as you're near Mother Brain during the beginning, if not, then yeah, you could potentially soft block. Oh, that was real close. <laughs> he was uh, he was charging up there for uh, uh. So <laughs> when the game when the game tries to give you the the um the hyper beam. If you're if you're touching the fire button at any point during that, when it actually gives you the hyper beam, it can soft lock the game um, for you know, up to ten minutes or for a lot longer than that. Uh, and he he was he was still firing off charge shots pretty close when it was about to give him hyper beam. It was getting a little scary. By the way, Andy's making quick work out of the dungeons. So far, he just beat uh, Pod. He beat the pilot just a while ago, so um, um, yeah, it's just this is it's all up, up to Aussie to find the uh, fire rod and try to make it up from there. Yeah, they're still uh, they're still gonna come down to, or still could come down to where the Gans Tower big key is, um, and how long it takes them to find that. But if they find it in fairly reasonable amount of time and. You know, Aussie gets the fire rod pretty quick when he goes back to Link to the Past here. Uh, this could this could be crazy close. Um, coming down to when Andy's killing Mother Brain and Aussie's killing Ganon. Where are you walking to, Aussie? Going to desert, looks like. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, this isn't gonna this isn't gonna lose him any time. Um, not going to use the fire rod to kill animals anyway. If he decides to go into mire, that would be bad for him. Um, <laughs> so we'll have to see where he goes after desert. It's exciting though. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah.
But I would assume the Bon Crocs and King of Steam are definitely on his radar. Um, they're pretty quick checks with the boots. He may want to, um, you know, do the top of Dark World in one in one sweep and go to the Dark World and do Graveyard Blood as well uh, with the mirror. Yeah, hopefully he does that right after this. And a nice line Moloch skill with the silver arrows for uh, Asi as well. Andy fire and fire rods all over the place. Flutin' somewhere. Oh, where are you going? Checking sick kid? Okay. Okay. Uh, it looked like he wanted to go to the portal, um, so that's probably what he's gonna head over to next. We'll have to see if he wants to do the uh, the Smith chain or head into North Dark World first. He does do North Dark World first. Um, he will run into Bonk Rocks first, which will be good for him. He won't have to go you know, waste time going into King's Tomb. Uh oh. Looks like maybe the Smiths, though. Yeah. Ooh, this is just pulling him further away from Andy right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, he had that. He he did have that little time advantage over Andy um, coming back into Link of the Past of uh, already having uh, Pals of Dark just done. But, um, you know, all these all these checks he's doing now um, are getting farther and farther away from that fire rod. Are uh, helping to pull Andy back into the lead here. taking the purple chest as well. Um, the good news is he's not going to have to walk all the way down there since he has done the K45 and Bomba established checks already. Uh, so he'll flute right over and he'll be done with this pretty quick. Uh, and we'll see where he heads after that.
thinking. Fluting. Fluting back. This is probably going to be North Dark World. Um, I'm not sure what else Ossie would be doing here, so should pick up his fire rod momentarily. Picking up the shovel. <laughs> Out of all things. Alrighty. He's done his way. Mm-hmm. Where are you going? Uh, he might be checking Lumberjack? Yeah, I don't think he ever checked it. It's gonna be a little sad when he gets back to Bonk Rocks, but... <laughs> yeah, after that, after that, it's, I thought about execution, though, mm -hmm. for sure. I mean, the only advantage that um, Aussie has over Andy is completing Super Metroid. But uh, it's pretty hard to say if, if uh, going through he has what three more dungeons to do. So going through those three dungeons will co moding those will that help out help him out. Only those. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Look, so he's just gonna finish up Skull Woods here. Uh, not a bad choice having the warp right there anyway. Alright, so both players in go mode. This is uh this is all execution at this point. is in the last chest. Aussie go getting getting past the um, Martha like going to Eastern. Dang, <laughs> that uh Tridex fight. <laughs> yeah, that was a really nice kill. I guess we can do the uh, big key guessing game. Um, we have oh, yeah. twenty-two items in in Hirorako, that's the rock and tower. Pick a number and uh, yeah, guess where the big key is.
Ivan, what do you think the the big key is? Oh. I hope the big key is wherever it makes this race the closest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay tower room. Tower room. I wish I could use the uh, um, red boomerang like that. <laughs> oh, there's the big key. Uh, I missed count though. Do you know what kind of number that was? <laughs> Looks like it was 9. Nice fight with the uh, Lamo. And he's just blazing through the um, Ganeth Tower. Mm -hmm. What do you think would um, help Aussie create uh, get some time on um, on Andy? Um, I mean, there's really not much he can do in Turtle Rock. Uh, it basically requires you to full clear the dungeon with the big key and vanilla spot and the small key on Laser Bridge in the last chest. Um, I mean, uh, <laughs> he'd have to he'd have to just like. Take a guess at where the the game star big Q would be, because that's going to be on you know a normal game tower route anyway. So I 
Will Andy hover? Oh yes, yeah he is. Why, mm. why did I ask that question? <laughs> I was getting a little low. Two? That looks like a single. The, when the balls hit um, at the same time. Or whatever, whatever they're called. When they hit at the same time, they, they count as one. Yeah. But, uh... He, and he made it like it was nothing. I, I don't even know. I, I didn't doubt him or anything, but I know it sounded like I did, but you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Nice phase too. Yeah. Probably a double here. Mm. Yep. And then one more. Very, Very nice fight. fight. Yeah. Get your G in the chat there for Andy. We got Torian versus, uh, End of Turtle Rock and Gen's Tower here. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna come down to execution for sure, but I think, I mean, I, I, I think it's likely that um, Turian is a lot faster than traversing through um, Gen's Tower. Yeah, yeah, I would, uh, I would tend to agree with that. That was a clean fight by Aussie on um on Trinex. Mm-hmm. Room three. Yeah. So now, um, 
just memeing it a little bit, but if Andy soft locks, <laughs> 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 then you know that could help. But I'm just memeing it a little bit there, but I'm pretty sure Andy will uh, won't take a chance to soft lock. Yeah, we'll see. Skip's looking good for Andy. Got all the clear. Does get the skip. Very nice. Call your party the, the speed boosters to uh, skip. And he gets it. Nice. Do you happen to know which is faster? Um the regular depth skip or the speed boost depth skip or the down back version um i believe the down back version is faster than the the uh the old way of doing it just the freeze it and then run to it twice uh, i'm not sure between the speed skip and um either the down back or the the other way uh It's probably it's the speed is probably the slowest of the three, honestly. Just because you have to take time to set up the spark and uh, you have to sit there at the end of the shine spark before it gives you control back. Um, I, I think that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. But the only the only reason you do the speed skip and uh... oh my goodness, Andy. Ooh, that was really <laughs> close. <laughs> the only reason so... you do speed skip in 100% is because you don't want to have to turn off screw attack. Um, to do the sub skip the other way. Okay, so um, the reason why um, Ivy and I were like, whoa, that was really close, is because um, he had Barra on and he had to get his health down below 100 HP as quickly as possible during that, um, that part, so it looked really close. Otherwise, um, he might have to go through that Rainbow Beam again without the, um, the Metroid cutscene. Yeah, so <laughs> when, you're, when you're trying to re-damage yourself before stand-up, um, Mother Brain's basically on a timer for when she's going to do another Rainbow Beam. And if you don't damage yourself down below 100, she will do another Rainbow Beam and it will kill you uh, if you're too low. So uh, he, was, he was real close to dying there. And, uh, looks like Andy's almost done. Yep. Yeah, barring some, barring some disaster in the escape here. Um, looking like Andy's not on top here. I can see Andy being a little bit nervous here. I mean, you never know when, yeah. you're, when you're on, uh, your opponent just like he could be right next to you, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. 
one more room here, the parlor. And Andy is done with official SRL time of 2.33.44. We'd like to give you guys our winner for the uh, Super Metro Link to the Past Combo Randomizer Winter Tournament, Andy. Woo! Yeah, congrats to Andy. Going, uh, going 3 0 in the grand finals. GG. Yeah, that's really impressive. I, I mean, like, even in the Link to the Past Randomizer um, finals, uh, I have not seen anybody win um, all three of their matches in a row, so that's great. Yeah. Probably gonna get him in here soon. Oh, I'm sure. And again, these were these were not, uh, especially this game. This this game was nowhere near uh, any kind of a blowout. Um, Asi is a, a fantastic player. Both these games, as well. Um, oh, and yeah, it could have usually sure. gone the other way. Yeah, like like I mentioned earlier, Aussie Aussie just pulls out the tech in uh, Super Metroid, or even in Link to the Path that like. Not many people see. It's really crazy. Yeah, definitely. Oh my goodness. Oh. Careful there. <laughs> Alright, looks like he does have a fairy, so uh <laughs> he'll be okay, but that was uh, yeah. that was a little close. You're part of this tournament, right, Ivan? Uh, you had you uh, yes. a couple. Yep. What do you think of this tournament? It was a lot of fun. Um, I would, I would definitely do more in the future. <laughs> yeah, I would like to partake partake in this tournament uh, in a tournament like this sometime in the future as well. GG Asi finishing uh, in second place with an official SRL time of 237.16. Uh, I'm gonna try to get these guys in here.
looks like we're just uh, having a little bit of an issue getting the uh, the invites out to the runners to get in here. Um, they should be in there shortly, though. There's Andy. Oh, yeah. And, and there's Aussie. Welcome, welcome. How's it going, guys? Hello. Hello. Hi, hi. So, uh, how do you guys feel? Uh, I thought I was behind, uh, with the bow location. Um, and I was just really hoping that, uh, <laughs> something was in one of those one off locations like Catfish or Crocmire. Maybe Aussie decided to skip it this time or something. Or early wreck ship would have paid off, but nothing really paid off. Everything was just kind of <laughs> in the path. <laughs> yeah, this was a uh, this was really really close. There were um one to, uh, at some point early. You went to desert first, and Aussie went towards eastern. Um, and you both kind of just went on those separate paths because both those areas had progressed for you in one way or another. Um, that met up later on um, somewhere in the dark world. And it happened again uh, in Super Metroid. Uh, once, uh, I think once Aussie finished Bryn Star, he just went straight into Link to the Past and found the gravity suit. Um, and then went into, you know, Mer Lower Norfer and Meridia and basically just cleared out in the entire game of Super Metroid um, while you did Wreck Ship and uh, parts of Norfair instead. Um, but really, really, this. this <laughs> It was it was it was super close the whole time. Um, I really just came down to the fire out at the end there. Yeah, I'm actually pretty mad about how this ended because I found the boots and I was thinking I could have made the quick boot checks. Like the portal was right there, knock out desert and king's tomb, bonk rocks, or I could be slightly more efficient and go up through red tower and do wreck ship. And full clear all that. And then full clear the Village of Outcast area. Be real efficient about it. And it sounds like doing all of that just cost me. There's too much time. Yeah, so I think when Andy was finishing up in Meridia and heading back to Link to the Past, you were basically running out the uh, gravity suit door out of Wrecked Ship. Um, and at that point, you guys were basically dead tight, other than you had already finished uh, Palace of Darkness, Aussie. Um, you had a little bit of time uh, to work with there. Um, but Andy basically just went to the Fire Rod uh, as first or second location after getting back to Link to the Past. So it was uh, just unfortunate for, uh, for what it ended up being for you. I'd say that I felt I was ahead by the time I got boots, but uh, so then I kind of put some time into playing safe with being efficient, mm -hmm. and, and that just lost me. What was your uh, reasoning for going for doing uh, for killing by the brain first before going back to uh, Link to the Past? Just uh, just out of curiosity. I had everything I wanted for to kill Mother Brain. Mm, okay. One of those rare full beam combo, all the good SM items, wreck yeah. should last. <laughs> <laughs> Except yeah, exactly. Spring Ball, but still. Yeah, all the good items. Mm. Uh, and they got a question. I, I, yeah, I dare you. <laughs> so, what happened to Crate? Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> I I, had, I failed like every high jump create quick kill, so I was just gonna charge him him, and I completely forgot that plasma just like goes through everything, and, <laughs> and it and it triggered him, and I was super like not prepared for it, and so I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna shoot some supers, we're just gonna get this over with. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was that was good, <laughs> quality quality moment by me. I also I didn't know if you could like x-ray kill crate or not because i've never had yeah, plasma not, in uh, charge and x-ray for crate before that do not work uh, yeah it, it, there's something called zombie crate but i think you don't want to do that 
overall, you guys did perform admirably. Um, Absolutely, yeah. Like, yeah, throughout this tournament, like, again, like I said, admirably, like Aussie, um, all the, all the uh, the tech and glitches that you pulled off is um, some of the things that I've never seen before. For example, the uh, the North Air Speedway going from the from right to left if you have wave, and I think Spazer Plasma or something, and then you just shoot, um, angle up and shoot. You can go through the the speed blocks. Like, you're the first person to actually pull it off um, that I've seen, so that was like really really cool. Yeah, that was super new. I learned it like the day before. I saw someone in the Super Metroid Randomizer League use it. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. I didn't. I was just like, wait a second. Is that what? Is that <laughs> real? <laughs> yeah, and uh, there are a bunch of really cool moonfalls that I've never seen uh, before either. Um, the one coming out of the beach area in Meridia and like weaving in between those three little platforms with the morph fall is really cool. Yeah, that one I saw from uh, Max GT Present. Oh, okay. Sorry, mate. And uh, um, I want to compliment on Andy. Like, uh, I know he's been practicing any percent and such, but I, I've seen during that practice pulled off. Like, you pulling off the full happy just while um, in your radio. That was really, really cool. Yeah, I, I felt pretty good about my SM execution besides trade. Uh, everything else was pretty clean. Uh, other than like, me trying to get up this speed booster in Bubble Mountain and taking like four jumps to get up there because now <laughs> grabbing is impossible. Yeah, the first game that we played of the set, like I, I felt pretty bad about my execution. I messed up every boss in the crate escape. Lost two minutes there. Mm. Um, but these past two games have been really clean. I felt. I just need to have a better work on my Ganon fights. It seems. I think it's all about. Um... That's what I've noticed, and I'm probably other people too, is um, the majority of this, especially um, this combo randomizer, is the um, the routing, like how you route where you want to go. And yeah. Like, if if you if you don't know where you're going, you're definitely gonna be losing a lot of time. Or if like you make a big gamble, and then you're not too sure on it, you could lose more time even. So this. It pays off as you, as we've seen throughout um, your guys' uh, your guys' race. So, um, just wanna ask uh, overall, what do you guys think of the tournament? Like uh, now that it's done, what um, any any thoughts on, on it? It was a lot of fun. I I kind of regretted joining it at first. Uh, with the length of the past tournament going on as well. It's just been a lot of <laughs> very overwhelming the, the past couple weeks, but <laughs> it was still really fun. Um, I'm excited for, you know, another 2v2 thing to pop up. Oh, yeah. Hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> How about you, Asi? Any um, any thoughts on the, the tournament? I mean, you're in the... Um... The Super Metro randomizer league, so you got two things going on as well. How do you feel? Well, I was in the Link to the Past tournament as well, but then I got knocked out by Korak. Ooh, oh yeah, that's right. I do remember that. But at least you were in you. So you're in like three things at the same time. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, I was in three things. Um, I think I'm barely holding on the Super Metroid League as far as wins that matter. Um, I don't know. Uh, this tournament was a lot of fun, I especially like the the head to head matches with Andy, because our games have been have looked really close, and then mm-hmm. up until the one decider thing. Did you guys did did any of you think that you'd make it this far? <laughs> I knew it'd be tough with Solsky on my side of the bracket, uh, but you know, like all the people at the top of the the SMZ three game are all like really really even so you never know i think i was favored to get to finals or semi-final yeah both of you guys have a really strong gameplay so mm-hmm. it's this um 
I'm sure I can speak for everybody here in chat and whoever is watching on the VOD that we admired your guys' execution, just uh, everything, everything you guys done throughout the whole tournament. So, GGs to both of you. Uh, GGs. Um. So Andy, now that you're your tournament, you know what? What are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do with the the prize money, huh? Uh, it's a good question. It'll pay for this mixer that I just bought, I suppose. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's this there's this flight to Hawaii that you could take. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, I could do that too. You know, no, it's all good. It's all good. Who, who needs to go to Disney World and you can go to Hawaii? <laughs> And Aussie, since you won second place too, any uh, any plans for you with uh, with your prize money? I think you got some too. Let's think about uh, getting the SD to SNES. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I oh, believe you might want to. Might want to wait a little bit because uh, the SD to SNES Pro is coming out or something like that, like a newer version. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, I was real mad because I bought one like. I don't know, six months ago <laughs> to replace my one from 2013. And then <laughs> now they released a new one. I'm like, well, yeah, who wants to buy an business? <laughs> yeah, same here. I'm, I'm kind of bummed on that, but it is what it is. Um, do you guys have any closing thoughts on before we end the interview? Uh, it was it was a fun tournament. Thanks to everyone who you know commentated, organized it. It's a lot of work to to run one of these bad boys. Uh, thanks to Keku and Ivan for signing up for commentary last minute when I bugged them at like 11 p.m. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Um, any final thoughts from you, Aussie? I guess I'll just echo Andy. Thanks everyone for putting this together. Team Feasel and Speed Gaming. All the commentators, trackers, and restreamers. Yeah. Um, so, as a, as a Speed Gaming staff, I would like to thank everybody who raced, everybody who commentated, everybody who tracked, everybody who's watching. Um, we, we would not put this on without you guys, you know. Um, glad. I'm glad. I'm partially glad the tournament's over. <laughs> it's a lot of work, <laughs> but um, we, um, as part of the gaming staff, there's more tournament to come. Um, I had a lot of fun watching the tournament. So, um, I guess. Oh, and uh, not to mention, I would like to say GG and congrats to. Um, uh, Soski and Hitaka, who are who also are top four. So uh, I think it was Soski who won third place, and then Hitaka is fourth place. So GGs and congrats to them. And um, I think that's all from me. Um, you want to close us off, Andy? Uh, Ivan. Uh, yeah, sure. Again, thanks everyone for watching, playing commentary, trackers, free streamers, um, everyone that helps put this stuff on because it's not a not a small amount of work. Um, uh, and, you know, congrats to everyone that uh, made it to brackets and placed in top four. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's been a fun tournament. Sorry, I made a mistake. It's uh, um, Hitaka won third, Soki won fourth. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, they, they, they're the top four people. But yeah. And uh, with that, thanks everybody. See you guys next time. And uh, check out, um, you can check out Andy in the, in the Link to the Past tournament. Um, and you can check out Aussie in the Speed, uh, Super Metroid Randomizer League. And uh, yeah, uh, stick around for other tournaments to come. Thanks everybody. Bye bye.